Okay, so You Never Let Me Go is actually like, I think it's like seven years old or something. It's, yeah, it's an old six, song. Six, and we recorded it like one time, like at my grandma's house in her <laughs> room. And it never like officially was on something, but it was like one of those songs I feel like every time we played it live, it was like there was something there and it, we've been playing it for so many years and changing it and changing it so i'm just i'm really happy like to finally record it and and to bring out like all the stuff we've kind of experienced little parts along the way that kind of come together now mm. and like the o's and all that like i don't know if that was in the beginning so it's like been, this song has had just such, such a journey and i feel like now it's just the right time to to release it you know so it's had a lot of ex like We've had a lot of experience playing it, and so I just feel like I just like where it's at now, and yeah, it was super fun. I think this, I think this song has also just carried the message of like one thing that's super important to us, you know, is is telling people that you know there's a God out there, and and that you know He loves you, and that you know there's never a time where He's gonna stop, you know, chasing after you, and, and you know He's never gonna let you go. Mm. Um, and I know this song, even though it's it's like a song we played, it's a song that actually has even like helped me. It's it's like encouraged me, and it's just such a good reminder for us to, you know, for us to have. So mm. it's a personal song, probably for me too, because it's been in the round for a while. Mm. Yeah. It feels like a tune that's marinated for a while, which is cool. But I felt like when I got it, it wasn't my favorite like to listen to at first, mm -hmm. and it's definitely become one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Is it like? There's something, there was something, like you said, there's something in there. And it just, like, sometimes you get tired of stuff and, you know, like, the ideas surrounding that really good idea is get a little stale. Yeah. And so sometimes it's just nice to crack it open a little bit, do something, yeah. do a little, like, renovation on it, and it just feels yeah. good, you know? It was actually nice. We, you know, we started playing it recently, like, at some acoustic events, and um, we were like, hey, like, let's try, you know, let's try playing You Never Let Me Go. And, uh, you know, a lot of people actually started saying, like, oh, like, that's a really good song, you know, like, really like that. And I think that was part of the reason why we also did this, we also wanted to record it. At least I think people were starting to notice it. Yeah, so. yeah I was stoked on it. First time Corey played the, like, fresh demo he did on his uh -huh. laptop and stuff. Yeah. And just, like, a fresh oh, take on it. Uh -huh. and, and, yeah, just doing it. Even at most recently, like, Fusion Day, I just remember, like, such a... Joyful, yeah. Like it, it just feels yeah. so good. It's interesting because it's like not the fastest song, but like live, it doesn't feel like that point in the set where it's like, oh, kind of a mm. chill. It like still has so much to it. Yeah. So like, I'm excited for it to see how it transfers live, like even now. Mm. Yeah, especially. Now.